assalamu alaikum guys today our uh, lecture topic is frequency modulation our lecture topic is frequency modulation or fm eh? here in frequency modulation we will discuss about the generation of frequency modulated signal generation of frequency modulated signal mm -hmm. and we will be using indirect method for this we will use in direct method to generate the frequency modulated signal so consider a consider a message signal so consider a message signal message signal empty so empty will be amplitude will be am cos q pi f m t so the modulated fm signal will be so the modulated fm signal will be what so what will be the modulated fm signal we actually got the modulated fm signal from our previous lecture right if we go if i go to the previous lecture then there we actually see the st signal st frequency modulated signal where we have the modulation the relationship of modulation index okay so this is the modulated signal st okay okay so this is the this is actually the modulated signal so let us write this equation st signal st will be the modulated signal st will be sc cos plus pi fc t plus kf am by fm sine twice pi f m t here we know where we know here this kf am by f m is nothing but the modulation in this beta which is also expressed by del f by f m okay so this amount is nothing but the modulation index so this is nothing but the modulation index So if this is the case, then this signal can be this signal can be written as AC cos twice by C T. So, so this amount is the beta, right? This amount is the beta modulation index, beta sine twice by FM T. Okay. Okay. Now now depending on the value of beta so depending on the value of beta or modulation index two case of f so two case of frequency modulated signal can be can we can have eh? so one is narrow band narrow band narrow band frequency modulated signal ie beta will be much much lower than one the value of beta will be much much low or wide band wide band frequency modulated signal where the value of beta will be 
much much higher so we will discuss about the first case now narrow band frequency modulated signal so narrow band frequency modulated frequency modulation eh? narrow band frequency so for narrow band uh, frequency modulation the condition is beta is much much lower than one if this is the case then we know uh, this beta is nothing but del f by fm eh? del f by fm this one del f by fm eh? so del f by will be much much lower than one i.e del f will be much much lower than the fm so it says what is the del f del f is the frequency deviation so frequency deviation will be much much lower than the carry uh, message frequency okay okay so for such a narrow band frequency modulated signal what we can write is for 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 narrow band frequency modulated signal what we can write that st we are writing the we are actually uh, we actually derive this uh, equation okay equal to nothing but sc cos cos twice pi fct plus beta sin 2 pi fmt here we'll expand this equation as uh, like cos a plus cos a a cos a plus b right so we know cos a plus b we expand this equation cos a plus b is nothing but cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so we'll expand it expand the cos so a c cos a this f c t cos a cos b cos b b is nothing but the beta sin twice by f m t cos a cos b minus sin a twice by f c sin a sin b beta sin by t. T. okay so for so for nano band uh, fm signal we know beta is much much smaller right so so for small beta small beta what we can say that this term cause this term right cos beta sine twice by fm t will be approximately you see the the for beta if beta is very, very small that this amount is total amount will become small so cos very small value for example zero cos zero is one right so the lowest value of cos could be one so it approximates to one and and for sine beta sine twice pi fm t will be only beta sine so sine theta will be theta actually b sine beta sine twice pi fm t okay if this is the case then we will substitute these two value in our uh, st right so substituting this value so 
of t2 thing this value these values what we find if we substitute there so we find signal x st is sc cos twice by fc t minus sc beta sin fct sin cos by fm t so this is actually the approximate uh, this is what this is actually this value this is actually the approximate uh, narrowband frequency modulator signal right this is actually approximate approximate by what by uh, assuming that beta is a much much low approximate narrowband frequency modulated signal if this is the case let us draw the schematic diagram based on this receive signal okay how can we generate this uh, this signal okay to uh, do this generation for example we have our uh, message signal right what is our message signal mt mt is a m cos twice by fm t right so how how we will actually end up to generate signal st from from the message signal starting of the message signal from this message signal okay so the whole process whole whatever the equation we derive will actually can produce a uh, produce a uh, schematic diagram sir so this is our message signal which is actually mt message signal m t this message signal will go to a integrator in t once it goes to an integrator what happens to this message signal a m cos twice pi f m t right so we'll integrate this signal from 0 to t one pulse duration so if this is the case what will our signal will be a m cos signal will be sine twice by f m t but this is not a cos uh, this is not a uh, cos theta so 2 pi f will be d by dt right punishment so 2 pi f m okay so this signal will pass through the integral uh, so after at uh, the output this this will be the signal twice pi f m now we'll actually multiply this signal with this signal eh? this signal with a or we modulate this signal with minus twice pi kf if this is the case you see this twice pi this one will be crossed by this one right okay so what will remain am kf by fm right uh, sine twice pi which is so what will happen that if uh, this signal you see this signal is multiplied by minus twice pi k f what will happen this twice pi twice pi will be crossed then it will remains a m k f by f m minus sine twice pi f m t right what is this then then you see this amount this amount is nothing but beta we see it earlier the modulation index which is actually this one you see this one amk by fm is the beta modulation index which is actually this one so which is nothing but the beta and the minus sign it will be the sign twice by fm t so if i uh, do this one then result will be 
the output result will be this one, this value. Isn't it? Right? So this will be here. So the output will be what? Minus beta sine twice pi fmt, right? Which will be actually, you see, uh, beta sine twice pi fmt, which actually you see the beta sine twice pi. We are already generating this signal. Okay, if this is the case, then this signal will be again multiplexed or modulated by another signal, which is which is. AC, so we need, uh, so we already generated this beta sine twice, so we need AC sine twice by FCT, we need this one. So this will be multiple, say, AC sine twice by FCT. If this multiply this one, then the output will be whole this part, right? This part, output. So if this is the multiplication, then output will be minus AC beta sine twice pi FCT sine twice pi FMT, right? Okay, now we say this will be generated by a 90 degree phase shifter, phase shifter. If this is the case, 90 phase shifter means the original signal will be AC cos to pi fc so is actually original signal will be ac cos 2 pi fct which will be which will be generated by a local oscillator of right uh, um, cosine cosine oscillator right now you see which this term is also this term is also this term means if I add another like some inch, uh, like summer or adder circuit, then this two term will be adding. And the output will be exactly this, this narrow band signal, narrow band signal, narrow band FM signal, eh? frequency modulus signal, which is exactly the ST signal, which is exactly the ST signal. Okay, this how, so we say this is the schematic diagram. Of a this is actually schematic diagram of the narrow band frequency modulator modulation generator generator. Okay, this is how we can generate a frequency modulator signal. Okay, now. So we know how to generate uh, frequency modulus signal. So we actually covered a narrow band frequency modulus signal. What about the wide band? So let's see how to generate a wide band frequency modulus signal. The next scheme. Okay. So now our uh, new scheme is a wide band frequency modulus signal generation. Okay, so uh, this will be, we know where the beta will be much, much higher. That was the condition, right? So this will be done, this will be done by a frequency multiplier, by using frequency multiplication you know, or multipliers. This will be done by the frequency multiplication. Multiplication. By by how frequency multiplication by passing the uh, narrow band frequency modulus signal through a multiplier actually by so by uh, so pass through pass pass uh, narrow band frequency modulated signal signal through So multiplier, a multiplier. OK. 
Okay, means means if the the ST signal, the signal we received is ST. Is ST if we generate such a signal ST. If we generate such a signal ST, which is actually a narrow band frequency moderated narrow band frequency moderated signal, if we pass through a frequency multiplier, if we pass through a frequency multiplier, then we will get a new like s tilde t which is actually wide band frequency modulated signal that's actually we are saying so this is actually a process or steps to uh, generate a wide band frequency modulated signal so let's say let's say a narrow band frequency modulated signal has instantaneous frequency frequency f i t okay so we already know the instantaneous frequency right from our previous uh, previous lecture so i'm not going there i'm directly writing it instantaneous frequency is nothing but fc plus af am plus fmt so what is the output of the wide band frequency modulated signal so what is the output of the wide band frequency modulated signal s tau t so what is that actually so if this is the case then the output um, output frequency modulated frequency will be so the output output wide band frequency modulated frequency will be frequency will be f like o out f um, o f out eh? f out t in f i t so this n is the integer number of higher uh, values okay so if this is the case then this equation can be in f c plus in f plus twice by fm t here this fc is the carrier frequency eh? so the nfc is really higher higher uh, multiple of uh, fc central frequency or carrier frequency eh? so these are actually actually the carrier frequency and this is the carrier frequency so what will be the del f the frequency deviation uh, del f frequency deviation will be nothing but the maximum value of the amplitude of f o or f out t minus n f c okay which is actually nothing but the maximum value of the amplitude of n k f a m cos twice by f m t okay which is nothing but which is nothing but the n k f a m so this is the maximum frequency deviation okay so we say this is actually nothing but the maximum frequency deviation so we can calculate also the beta the output beta the output modulation index is nothing but in kf am by fm which is nothing but in of our beta our original 
बीटा है और ओरिजिनल बीटा ठीक है सो व्हाट वी आर वी जस्ट फाउंड दैट वी वी कैन और वी आर एबल टू इंक्रीज ए मोडुलेशन इंडेक्स बीटा बाय मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ एन यू सी हियर व्हाट वी कैन डू we can actually increase the modulation index beta so output modulation index will be n times of the input modulation index okay so what we can say that we can say that we can say that so we we can increase we can increase modulation index modulation index by multiplication of n by multi n or n times we can increase the modulation index by n times Okay. okay what is the result then as beta increases bandwidth increases for so as beta increase increases bandwidth of the wide band of uh, wide band frequency modulated signal increases where is this will be the result result of this multiplication of this multiplication okay okay so we say this frequency uh, we if we uh, pass through our signal non-reverent signal through a multiplier we can increase we can uh, have a wide band Uh, signal wide band frequency modulated signal and while we do that our output modulation index actually in times becomes in terms of the input modulation so how we can do that so one way so the frequency multiplication can be achieved by passing this st through a nonlinear device because this is not a lta linear time invariant system this is not a lti system this is actually a, mm, this can only be possible by passing through a nonlinear device so what we can say this free frequency multiplication frequency multiplication can be achieved can be achieved by passing st or st signal or narrow band signal through a So, a nonlinear device. So, for example, for example, consider the following nonlinear device. For example, we have a nonlinear device. Okay, so. and see there the following non linear device so in this device if we put a signal st as a input signal signal Where the multiplication factor is q, q factor. So basically, q is any input. So our output will be, our output will be a s q. So this is a kind of nonlinear device. Okay. So if if we uh, so our s t signal was Previous ST signal was AC was 
beta twice by ct, right? That we write earlier. Ah, uh, this one, eh? So our AC, this signal ST is cos twice by FCT plus beta sine twice by FM. So this amount, let's say, let's give it a name. So this amount, let's give it a name, theta i. It's actually the phase of this. So this signal becomes AC cos theta i t. Okay. So the if this is the signal ST. So this is the signal of this nonlinear device. Then output will be what? S is tilde of the this one like, like S tilde output. Where this frequency multiplier, this is actually this is equivalent to S tilde T, for example. So what is S tilde T? So output. So our output. S tilde T can be. This. Eh? A of. A of S cube. So A of S cube. Right. S cube. A of. A C cos theta i t cube, yeah, which is not, nothing but the A A C cube cos cube. Theta i. Now we know we know this formula cos cube formula. We know cos cube theta is nothing but cos 3 theta plus 3 cos theta 3 cos theta divided by 4 we will actually use it here so by by using this formula we can write uh, a right cos cube so a c cube is there already cos cube will be cos cube will be cos 3 theta i t plus 3 cos theta i cos theta right? divided by 4 okay now we'll put back the theta i t which is actually this one. We'll put the put the value back in this equation. Huh? So what the equation comes? If this is the case, the equation comes as a c cube. This four. Let's take it here. Four. So if this is the case, then we can write cos cos so theta t huh? cos 3 mm. okay so 3 theta t cos so we can write cos so 6 pi f c t okay so so theta it is uh up oh sorry uh, here actually this part is only the theta it eh? this part is the theta it okay so three so three two so six two uh, six pi fct 
एस प्लस थ्री थ्री बीटा साइन ट्वाइस बाय एक एम टी राइट सो दिस विल बी इनसाइड प्लस प्लस थ्री सो फोर इज ऑलरेडी देयर सो थ्री ओके लेट अस लेट अस सेपरेट इट राइट ओके नो वी कैन राइट इट आल्सो हियर इनसाइड और वी कैन टेक दिस आउट ओके होटल पर थ्री कॉस सो दिस इज एक्चुअली थ्री कॉस थीटा आईटी राइट थ्री कॉस थीटा आईटी इज दिस वन टू पाई एफसीटी प्लस बीटा साइन टू पाई एफएमटी दिस वन एंड वी कैन राइट इट दिस वन आल्सो यस यू सी this one here uh, fc right this fc is actually so we can say that this fc this one is in centered in fc and this actually nothing but uh, 3fc actually my like 2 pi 3fc so two if is actually centered at 3fc this frequency component so this will be what this signal will be this signal is nothing but the output Okay, this is the output. Why the output of the non-linear device? So, this is the output of the non-linear. This is actually nothing but the output of the non-linear device. Okay, for example, here S S tau t, which is actually this one. So, if we pass through this signal, so we will actually pass through pass pass through a filter center at 3 fc if we pass through this signal filter at 3 fc what will happen so we will get the output as a a a c cube by 4 so cos so it will be passed through a uh, filter with 3 fc so because it will be center at 3 fc so this signal can only pass through right so 6 pi f ct all the other uh, lower frequency will be uh, will be um, stopped there so this is a lower frequency fm is much much higher actually means signal is much much higher this is also much oh, sorry this is actually fm signal is much much this is the message signal frequency much much lower and one One FC is also much much uh, much uh, uh, lower frequency. Okay, so this one this will be uh, crossed plus FC plus three B sine twice by FM. Okay, this signal will only we actually we only can receive this signal. So we can see that this signal can pass through. So only you see this is a, a this signal will pass through a, a filter centered at three fc. So the lower frequency this means the whole cos means this whole signal will be 
stopped and this whole signal is uh, fc plus means higher frequency eh? whole higher frequency so fc plus some extra so means actually is uh, around 3 fc so this signal only can pass through only this signal can pass through so we can actually have so we can actually have only this this signal will will remain which is actually this one which is actually this one okay so if in, uh, this here we can see this is the frequency multiplication by a factor of three this is actually nothing but a this component eh? this component at the frequency this component at the frequency multiplication by so c this is six pi fc actually actually two pi three fc eh? t that's actually this one eh? so it's actually frequency multiplication by multiplication by a factor 3 3 times uh, higher frequency of the original center frequency okay so here what we can what we find here we find that b out output modulation index is nothing but the 3 times of the uh, n here actually the multiplication factor is 3 3 actually will indicate our n n factor here in this uh, in this specification for this example for the in this example we took a specific example right that it will be a cube uh, nonlinear device or cubic nonlinear non non device where this beta beta out will be n times of the beta means here n value will be uh, 3 so this is a, one of the findings from here okay so what will happen that when you pass through a signal st through a cubic a of cube you actually get a of s n actually if this is an n instead of cube if we say if this is an n times n n n n multiplication then it will be a s n t that will be the where this frequency component will be the frequency component frequency component will be at in fc here when it was a cubic multiplication uh, the frequency component was at 3 fc so you have uh, if you were in multiplier then it will be a frequency component will be at n fc okay so so what else we can uh, we know from here that the if this is the case frequency component at nfc in that case what you can find the you if you have a filter centered at nfc then means when you have a, a nfc frequency component after this one for example if you have a signal a st you transmit with the n multiplier you will get this kind of signal where you have a frequency component n then you filter by using a uh, like so you filter filter having having central frequency center frequency nfc if this is the case then you can filter out only the higher uh, frequencies and you can filter out the lower frequencies like this so frequency modulated signal at center frequency nfc and modulation index will be nf so so means actually if we summarize that uh, if you have a frequency modulated signal so if you have a frequency so what do we actually find if 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 uh, if uh, or having a frequency modulated signal at center frequency nfc and modulation index and and modulation index is 
So module index in lesson index D in D cell. So this is not E, this is actually our confirmed result. Eh? So this is not E. Eh? So ah, we can write for for a uh, frequency modulated signal at center frequency NFC and modulation in the NFC. So this will be actually our, so if you have any narrowband signal, if you uh, pass through a nonlinear device, you will have uh, like N multiplier, you will have N times of the center frequency and the modulation index will be the N times of the modulation index will be the N times of the uh, narrowband signal. So that is actually our, how we, how we end up with a, uh, nanoband modulated uh, uh, modulated uh, signal okay so in this uh, lecture we actually generate a um, nanoband signal and from that nanoband signal we can also, also ge uh, generate a wide band signal why higher its uh, center frequency will be n times of the center uh, uh, frequency of the uh, nanoband and its modulation index will be n times of the mod uh, nanoband okay because of using a nonlinear device or multiplier thank you